Today, we're diving into 20 mind-blowing unsolved mysteries that you won't believe. These baffling cases simply can't be explained. Get ready to have your mind blown. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more incredible content. Let's get started. Number 20. Disappearance of D.B. Cooper One of the biggest mysteries of the late 20th century is who D.B. Cooper was and where he went. In November 1971, a man using the name Dan Cooper boarded a flight from Portland to Seattle. After takeoff, he handed a note to a flight attendant, but she didn't read it. He then told her, Miss, you'd better look at that note. I have a bomb. The note contained his demands, $200,000, four parachutes, and a fuel truck ready to refuel the plane in Seattle. When the plane landed, the money and parachutes were delivered and all the passengers were allowed to leave. The plane then took off toward Mexico. However, when it landed in Reno to refuel, Cooper was gone and he was never seen again. In 1980, a child in Oregon found some of the ransom money, but searches in the area found no new evidence. Then, in 2017, a parachute strap was found at a possible landing site, adding another twist to the mystery. Number 19. The Vanishing of Cynthia Anderson In 1981, 20-year-old Cynthia Anderson, a legal secretary in Toledo, Ohio, disappeared without a trace. She had just quit her job and was planning to go to Bible college with her boyfriend. Before she vanished, Cynthia had been having disturbing dreams about being abducted and murdered. On the morning she disappeared, she was at work, but was gone by 10 a.m. with no signs of a struggle. Over the years, various theories have emerged. Her employer was arrested in 1995 for running a drug ring, leading some to believe he may have killed her to keep her quiet, but no one has been charged in connection with her disappearance. Number 18. Jack the Ripper Jack the Ripper is one of history's most infamous and elusive CBO killers. He terrorized the White Temple District of London in the late 19th century with a series of brutal murders. The name Jack the Ripper came from a letter sent to the media in 1888, supposedly from the killer himself. Despite extensive investigations, his identity remains unknown. The murders, which began in 1888, involved horrific mutilations of women in poor areas. The police, led by Inspector Frederick Aberline, struggled due to the lack of forensic technology and the killer's ability to disappear into the crowded, dimly lit streets. The case has sparked countless theories and investigations over the years, but Jack the Ripper's true identity remains a mystery. Number 17. The Zodiac Killer The Zodiac Killer is a notorious unidentified serial killer who operated in Northern California in the late 1960s and early 1970s. The killer gained notoriety by sending taunting letters and cryptograms to local newspapers and law enforcement. The Zodiac's first confirmed killings were in 1968, targeting couples. Despite claiming responsibility for at least five murders, the Zodiac hinted at many more victims. The killer's true identity has never been confirmed, although some cryptograms were solved. The mystery of the Zodiac Killer continues to fascinate people, inspiring numerous documentaries, books, and a feature film. Number 16. The Case of John Bennett Ramsey This is about the tragic and unsolved murder of six-year-old John Bennett Ramsey. She was found dead in her family's home in Boulder, Colorado, on December 25, 1996. The case immediately caught the public's attention and has been heavily covered by the media. It remains one of the most puzzling unsolved crimes in American history. The details surrounding her death were mysterious and upsetting. Suspicion even fell on her parents, John and Patsy, and her nine-year-old brother, Burke. The crime scene seemed staged, and ransom notes were found in the house, adding to the confusion. Despite extensive investigations, including DNA testing, no one has been conclusively identified as her killer. 
The case has led to many theories and debates, but it remains open and the Ramsey family maintains their innocence. Number 15. Hinterkaifeck Murders The Hinterkaifeck Murders happened in Germany in 1922 and left a family brutally killed on their farm. The victims were Andreas Gruber, his wife Kazilia, their widowed daughter Victoria, Victoria's children, and their maid Maria. Before the murders, the family noticed strange things, like unexplained footsteps in the snow and a mysterious newspaper on their property. On March 31, 1922, an unknown person or persons killed all six residents with a mattock, a farm tool similar to a pickaxe. The killer seemed to have lived in the house unnoticed before the murders and stayed there for several days afterward, eating the family's food and taking care of the animals. Despite various investigations, the case remains unsolved, with no clear motive or suspect. This makes it one of Germany's most disturbing and creepy unsolved mysteries. Number 14. The Ghost Ship Mary Celeste one of the biggest unsolved mysteries is the story of the Mary Celeste. This ship left New York City in December 1872. Ten days later, it was found with no one on board. The crew was never seen again. Their belongings were still in their rooms, and the lifeboat was gone. One of the ship's pumps was taken apart. No one knows what happened to them. Number 13. The Watcher House you might know this story from the Netflix series, which added a lot of drama. The real story is about a house in Westfield, New Jersey. In 2014, the Broaddus family bought this house and started getting creepy letters from someone calling themselves the Watcher. The letters said the house was being watched for decades and mentioned the family's activities and their children. The Broaddus family was so scared that they never moved in and sued the previous owners for not telling them about the Watcher. Despite investigations, the identity of the Watcher is still unknown. Number 12. The Mystery of the Circleville Letters In the late 1970s and early 1980s, residents of Circleville, Ohio, received threatening letters. It started with Mary Gillsby, who got a letter accusing her of having an affair. The letters got more aggressive and detailed, suggesting the sender knew personal things about her. The letters also targeted her husband, Ron. Things got worse when a booby trap was found on their property, making people think there was a dangerous stalker. The true identity of the letter writer and their motives are still unknown. Number 11. The Axe Man of New Orleans In the early 1900s, a serial killer known as the Axeman terrorized New Orleans. He mostly attacked Italian-American grocers and their families, breaking into their homes at night and killing them with an axe or razor. The Axeman once sent a letter to the newspapers claiming to be a supernatural being and said he would spare anyone playing jazz music on a certain night. The city responded by hosting jazz parties everywhere. The kibber was never caught and his identity remains a mystery. Number 10. The Mysterious Drowning of Natalie Wood In 1981, Hollywood actress Natalie Wood tragically drowned while on a weekend yacht trip to Catalina Island with her husband, actor Robert Wagner and fellow actor Christopher Walken. The official story says she accidentally slipped and fell into the water, but many people still have questions about what really happened. The investigation was reopened in 2011 because of conflicting accounts and doubts about the events on the yacht. The boat's captain changed his statements and Wood's death certificate was updated to include drowning and other undetermined factors. This mystery continues to intrigue people even today. Number 9. The Gardner Museum Heist In 1990, two thieves dressed as police officers broke into the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in Boston and stole 13 pieces of art worth about $500 million. The case remains unsolved and no arrests have been made. There's still a $10 million reward for information leading to the recovery of the stolen art, which includes works by Vermeer, Rembrandt, Degas, and Monet. 
Despite an ongoing FBI investigation, very little is known about the crime and the focus has been on the Boston Mafia as possible suspects. Number 8. The Disappearance of Jimmy Hoffa Jimmy Hoffa, the leader of the International Brotherhood of Teamsters from 1957 to 1971, disappeared on July 30, 1975, from a parking lot of the Red Fox Restaurant in Bloomfield Township, Michigan. Hoffa was a controversial figure due to his leadership style and alleged ties to organized crime. Many theories suggest he was the victim of a mob hit because of power struggles within the Teamsters or his refusal to work with the Mafia. Despite numerous investigations and searches, his fate remains unknown. Some believe he was buried under giant stadium, while others think he was disposed of in a Florida swamp. He was declared legally dead in 1982, but the mystery of his disappearance continues to fascinate people. Number 7. The Creepy Murder in Room 1046 In 1935, a mysterious murder took place in Room 1046 at the Hotel President in Kansas City, Missouri. The victim was a young man who had checked in under the name Roland T. Owen. On January 2nd, hotel staff found Owen in his room, brutally beaten, tied up, and repeatedly stabbed. He was still conscious but refused medical help, claiming he had fallen against the bathtub. He mentioned having two visitors earlier, but their identities remain unknown. Owen checked in without any luggage and paid in cash, which wasn't unusual for the time. He said he was waiting for a friend. Later that evening, suspicious phone calls were made from his room with a woman asking for him. The next morning, Owen was found dead. Authorities discovered strange clues, including a note saying, Dawn, I will be back in 15 minutes. Wait, the room's phone was ripped from the wall. The case remains unsolved, baffling people to this day. Number 6. The Lost Colony of Roanoke In the late 1500s, English settlers led by John White established a colony on Roanoke Island, off the coast of present-day North Carolina, in 1587, White returned to England for supplies, but was delayed for several years due to a war with Spain. When he finally came back in 1590, the colony was deserted. The only clue was the word Croton, carved into a post and crow on a tree. There are many theories about what happened to the settlers. Some believe they assimilated with local Native American tribes, supported by later accounts of natives with European features. Others think the settlers died from hunger, illness, or attacks. The mystery of Roanoke remains unsolved, with no clear answer about what happened to the settlers. Number 5. The Oge Simpson Case The Oge Simpson case is one of the most famous trials in American history. In 1994, Nicole Brand Simpson, Oge Simpson's ex-wife, and her friend Ronald Goldman were found murdered outside her Los Angeles home. Oja, former NFL star and actor, was quickly named the main suspect. The trial featured a high-profile defense team, including Johnny Cochran and Robert Shapiro, while the prosecution was led by Marcia Clark and Christopher Darden. The trial became a media circus, especially when the defense claimed the police were racially biased and conspiring against Oge. The most memorable moment was when Oge tried on a glove linked to the murder, and it didn't fit. In October 1995, Oge was acquitted, which deeply divided public opinion and raised questions about the justice system and racial bias. In 1997, a civil jury found Oge liable for the deaths in a wrongful death lawsuit. Number 4. Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 On March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared while flying from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. The Boeing 777 lost contact with air traffic control over the South China Sea about 38 minutes after takeoff and eventually went out of radar range. 
All 227 passengers and 12 crew members were presumed dead. This incident was the deadliest involving a Boeing 777 and the worst in Malaysia Airlines history until Flight 17 was shot down over Ukraine four months later. Number 3. The Unexplained Phoenix Lights In March 1997, Thousands of people in Arizona reported seeing mysterious lights in the night sky, known as the Phoenix Lights. This event is one of the most famous UFO sightings. Witnesses saw a formation of lights moving silently, with some describing a triangular shape and others a massive V-shaped spacecraft. The incident happened in two parts. First, stationary lights appeared over Phoenix around 7.30 p.m. Later, moving lights were seen across Arizona. The official explanation from the military was that the lights were flares from a training exercise. However, many people remain skeptical and believe it was evidence of extraterrestrial activity. The true nature of the Phoenix lights continues to be debated. Number 2. The Shepard Murder Case The Shepard Murder Case is about Dr. Sam Shepard, a bone doctor who was accused of killing his pregnant wife, Marilyn, in their Ohio home in 1954. Here's what happened. On July 4, 1954, Marilyn Shepard was found beaten to death in her bedroom. Dr. Shepard claimed he had been sleeping on the couch and said he struggled with a bushy-haired intruder. The media covered the story intensely and the prosecution argued that Dr. Shepard's story didn't add up and that he had a reason to kill his wife. There were many other strange details that made people think Dr. Shepard was guilty. He was convicted of second-degree murder in 1954 and sentenced to life in prison. However, the case continued to be controversial. After many appeals, the U.S. Supreme Court overturned his conviction in 1966, saying that the intense media coverage and biased trial prevented a fair trial. Dr. Shepard was retried and found innocent. This case was important for shaping legal standards for fair trials, especially with heavy media attention. It also inspired the TV series and film The Fugitive. Despite Dr. Shepard's acquittal, Questions about who really killed Marilyn Shepard remain unanswered. Number 1. The Pollock Sisters This is the strange case of Gillian and Jennifer Pollock. Before they were born, their family suffered a terrible tragedy. In 1957, their young daughters, Joanna and Jacqueline, died in a car accident. A year later, Gillian and Jennifer were born. As the twins grew up, they began to claim memories of a past life as Joanna and Jacqueline. They knew detailed information about the deceased sisters' lives and events. The Pollock sisters had behaviors and characteristics similar to their late sisters, and they even wanted to visit a park that Joanna and Jacqueline used to go to. The story gained a lot of attention in newspapers and on TV. Some people think the Pollock sisters' case suggests reincarnation, while skeptics believe the twins might have overheard details about their sisters from family conversations. Despite differing opinions, this story has puzzled many people for decades. Well, that was all very mysterious. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Check out the other things on the screen, and I'll see you next time.